I'm Elizabeth Vargas and welcome to 2020 in touch. It was hard when any of us started our first day at a new school. We see it in our kids. But what would that first day be like if your child had Tourette syndrome with a nonstop volley of physical and verbal tics? Jay Shadler takes us through a day like no other. As for Devin, she's begun touching, rattling and polishing the doorknobs. This odd ritual is one of those compulsions common to many Tourette's patients and triggered by this morning's stress. I want to be homeschooled until college. It was a fun three years. We had such a great time, and now we're about ready for our next adventure. I'm not ready. We'll be okay. Push me back. Ready or not, Devin's going to school, escorted by her mom and dad. All right. <laughs> You have an absolutely fabulous oh, day. Nope. I love you so much. During these very first hours, she's agreed to give a brief presentation on Tourette's to her classmates. I have a chemical imbalance in my brain. It causes me to do things called tics. I'll grimace and roll my eyes. Don't think I'm being rude. It's just one of my tics, and I really can't help it. Unexpectedly, it also becomes a memorable show and tell. When somebody has a tick and they, they can't really hold them, they can hold them in a little bit like if you kind of hold in a sneeze or if you have an inch on the bottom of your foot and you can kind of wait a little bit, but you're thinking the whole time, oh my goodness, I've got to scratch my foot. Well, if Devin tries to hold her ticks in, it's the same thing. It's all she can ah! think about. I've heard of it, but I've never seen something with it before. You don't know if people are talking behind your back or laughing at you? Exactly. It's hard to make friends when like you have, when people are already making fun of you. At recess, Devin seems to make a few new friends. What's your favorite animal? <gasps> a dog. So what grade are you guys in? <laughs> but by the end of the day, her mood darkens. Horrible. Horrible. Yeah. I hate it here. Do I have to go back? Sweetie. Yes, you do. Okay. Why? Can't grandma homeschool me? No. But I hate it here. Okay. It's listen, the worst place listen. ever. <laughs> oh boy. Things only get worse back at home. Daddy, I hate it there. When she hangs up on her dad, Mora reaches the end of her patience. Did, he, did you hang up on your father? Yes or no? <laughs> if you can come home, it would be good. I know not now, but don't stay late. Leaving Devon to play out her tantrum, Mora heads to pick up one of her other daughters at soccer practice and to psychologically regroup. I hate to say it, but this is typical of Devin. Emotionally, she's all over the place. I don't know if it's, you know, a symptom of the Tourette. I, I don't know if it's just an 11-year-old attitude. That's a common question. Is it, is it Tourette's or is it bad behavior? 